Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, drop down list in module pool and as a part of our requirement, we created that table in the last video. Table has three columns including MA and DT and yes, we activated that table. Now we will maintain the data in that table. And we will maintain that data through SM30. So you all know very well, we will firstly create the table maintenance generator and then we will maintain the data. So how we can generate the table maintenance generator? I will go for utilities, table maintenance generator. Now, I will pass the authorization group M% NC M% and you all know very well NC stands for no check. It means it will not check for any authorization. By default table name, we are passing in the function group name. This is already covered topic in a BAP dictionary playlist. So if you want detailed explanation, you can refer a BAP dictionary playlist. Now I will choose the maintenance type one step. I will click on to find screen number. I will go for OK. We all know in case of one step, only overview screen is applicable. I will go for creation of the table maintenance generator. I will save it as a local object. So I generated the table maintenance generator. Now we will maintain the data into the table. So I will simply, simply go for SM30 transaction code. This is our table. I will go for edit or maintain button. So we will maintain the entries into that table. I'll go for new entries. You can see, yes, we are getting the states in the drop down. So I will go for suppose Gujarat, suppose region, I will take Ahmedabad. I will go for Gujarat. Suppose I will take Vadodara. Suppose I will go for Haryana. I will take Ambala as the region. Suppose I will go for Haryana and I will go for Kurukshetra. Suppose I will go for Maharashtra. I will go for Mumbai. I will go for Maharashtra and I will take Pune. So for every state, I maintained two regions. I will go for same. So I created that table and I maintained that data into that table. Now we will create a module pool program. And in that program, we will take two drop downs. One for state and one for region. So I will go to SC38 transaction code and we will go for now module pool program. Suppose I will say Z state region display. Now I will go for create. It's already existing. So I will give some different name. State underscore region. Suppose I will give Z state underscore region. I'll go for create. I will give the short description. Suppose I will write demo on drop down list. Okay. Suppose I will write demo on drop down list. 
I will choose that type as module pool program and I will go for save. I will save it as a local object. I will activate the program and I will display the object list. I will create a screen in the module pool program. So I will right click on the program, create screen. I will give the screen number. I will give some short description to the screen. Suppose I will write main screen. Now I will click on to layout button. Screen painter will open and yes, now I will design the layout. Firstly, I will take a label for the state. We all know whenever we want to go for label, we need to go for text field. Suppose I'm writing state underscore LBL. You can give any name, it's totally your wish. I will give the text. Suppose state. Now I will go for here I want drop down. Now there is no such layout element for drop down. This is the first important point because maximum people try to find here. Do we have a drop down list? Drop down list is not available directly as a layout element. We will take input output field only and we will display as a drop down list. Suppose I will take input output field. I will just give some name and I will go for same to same for same to same way we are doing. I will take table name hyphen column name. You can give any name it's your wish. But yes, we want same to same properties. So I will go for table name hyphen column name. I'll just go for that table. I'll check the table name. This is our table. ZT state underscore region hyphen. What is the column name? State. I'll press enter. It is asking, do you want to bind it to data dictionary? Yes, I want to bind it to data dictionary. I'll go for OK. Now, as of now, state has a length of 3. If you remember, we took the length character 3. So it is character 3. I will double click. Now here I have a option to display like drop down. Firstly, you need to create input output field only. Then you can change it to drop down. Now in the drop down, we have two options now. List box and list box with key. Now how you want to display it is totally your wish and I will show both. Suppose, firstly, I will go for list box with key. Now, it is, you can see it is in the form of drop down. I just increase the length so that we can able to see full value. If the length is 3, we will only, only able to see, yes, G, U, J. So, I just increased the length. Now, we will go for second. I will go for a label. I will give some name to the label. Suppose I'm saying region underscore LBL. I will create a input output field. Okay, I'll give that text. Sorry, I forgot to give that text. Region. Now I will again take a input output field for the region. And same to same, we will give table name hyphen column name. This is our table name. And what is the column name in that table region? Enter. 
it is asking do you want to bind yes we want to bind and you can see big 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 column is there why because the length is character 50 if you remember we took the length character 50 i will double click and i will also change it to list box here suppose i will take list box anyways i will explain both it is in the form of drop down i will save i will close and yes i will activate up to this level so what is the summary of this particular video firstly we maintained that data in that table using sm30 transaction code so firstly we created the tmg table maintenance generator and we maintained that data through sm30 after that we created a module pool program we went to screen painter we took two input two labels and two input output fields then we converted those input output fields in the form of drop down in the drop down we have two options draw draw list box with key and only list box in the next video anyways we will understand the difference between both of them so we will continue this in the next video so that's it in this video. Thank you.